Hey, what's going on, folks? I just got a, a message, a text message from my doctor's office. I've got an appointment on the 11th at 4 p.m., hopefully to get these cones taken out of my nose so I can uh, talk a little better. And I'm going to find out why I can't move my upper lip at all. I can't move the upper part of my face at all. Hopefully, uh, my vocabulary will improve once they remove those things. Anyway, that's scheduled for 4 o'clock on Thursday this week, so that's good. Anyway, today I'm covering Lucky Laptop News. Remember a long, long time ago, Lucky uh, attacked a state proof with his laptop, almost hit him in the head with it, and the cop took him down. Oh, Lucky's about five foot four, and the cop was about seven foot tall. <laughs> it was hilarious. I wish I had the clip handy. I might go look for it and put it in here, but anyway. This is him going back to get his uh, laptop from inbound. But before he goes there, he runs into a cop on the side of the road, and it's really boring. And the cop takes it off where he gets a chance to scream at him or anything. Anyway, enjoy the video. But before we get started, I did find that clip of Lucky Laptop trying to hit that cop with the uh, thing. So I'm going to put it in right here. You're going to love it. You'll probably remember the video. I did it about a year ago or so. Anyway, enjoy. Oh, she has to wait at me. 527, how we control. And apparently it's a car that's got abandoned. Right there, that's what the call was. No, I was gonna get the other door too, babe, but... Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Doing all right. I'm here to pick up my laptop. Your laptop. Okay. And your name? James. James? Yep. Hang on. Okay. James. Uh... Sorry, I paused it because I was giving out personal information. Yeah, I know what you're doing. No, I was talking to the camera. I just cut out about 20 minutes of the video of him just sitting there in the lobby and going outside and looking at police cars and waiting for a cop to come. and. So he can get his impounded laptop back once again. Anyway, let's carry on. Well, the way they called last Friday and then called back yesterday, they really want me to pick up my laptop. Well, you know, they're the ones that wanted it so damn bad. I'm talking to my camera, so. No, I'm talking to my camera because this is going to be on my channel. Okay. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Have you been helped yet? Waiting on my laptop. Your laptop? Okay. Since you um, started communicating with me, uh, name and badge number? All I'm Major McGale, 238. Okay, thank you. Hi, sir. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Ooh. Can you help if you have the name of the officer that contacted me? You would think you guys could have better communication skills within your guys' own uh, organization. But then again, I guess that just goes with being a state employee because it's kind of the same thing at my job. What job would that be anyway there, Lucky? What kind of job you got? I will state it's actually nice to be in a police department and not seeing the blue line game flag and actually seeing a real American flag. Thank you, Brent Campbell. I will state that's one thing I do like about you as the sheriff. Can you see that big gaping hole in that door? That's probably where Lucky uh, Laptop's head ended up last time he was at the police station trying to get a sunshine request. I don't know that for a fact, but I'm guessing. You actually do believe that that blue line game flag is 
a dis discretionation to our American flag. Well, we certainly shouldn't be discretionationing against the um, American flag, uh, which it is not because the blue line flag was never an American flag to start with. See, the way you desecrate the flag is you take an American flag and you take a can of spray paint and you paint all over it. That's desecration. Making a whole completely different flag is not discretionation or whatever the hell you call it. And just a friendly reminder, they're always watching you. I think I actually got some new cameras in here because that one got taken out and all the ones over there are gone. So, yeah, it looks like they got new cameras. So, again, there they are watching us. Here they are watching us. And here I am watching them. There's a couple of reasons I don't cover Lucky Laptop very often. It's because he's very boring. It's usually his camera is pointed straight up in the air and you can't see what's going on. And another one is that he's the dumbest auditor out there. He barely ever knew what he's talking about. But anyway, let's carry on. And I am cutting out tons of this video where he's doing absolutely nothing and saying nothing. Yeah, I know I'm pacing guys, but I just got off work on a 12 hour day, came here to get my computer, which I'm getting to run around. Hey, how are you? No, no, no. Yep. Finally, help has arrived and it looks like Lucky Laptop is about to get his uh, laptop back once again. This look like yours? I do believe so. You want to hold that, babe? Since I had to buy a new one. Yes, that looks like mine. Okay. Where's the charger cord to it? That I do not know. Did they actually take it out? I don't know. They they grabbed my computer without a warrant. The officer that uh, put it in evidence uh, indicated there wasn't a charger cord with it. Okay, well, I will state your officer also was supposed to put my wallet in evidence and never did. I'm, if I do find mine, I will bring this back to you guys. Okay, yeah, and I don't matter of fact. That's one cut in the video that he did make. That cop went back and he got another power cord for his laptop that belongs to the police department, and he cut that out. He doesn't want to show that they did something nice for him. They went and got him a cord of their own and gave it to him. Hang on. I'll let you talk to the camera. I'm going to go out and look in my bag and see if it's in the back. If it is, I'll bring this right out, okay? All right. Appreciate it. All right. Good day. You too. All right, everybody, I'm going to go and end it there. You all have a good one. Till next time, be safe. I went back on his channel, and I looked, and I looked, and I couldn't find any recent arrest where he got his laptop and found it. So this has to be from when he confronted that state trooper that was dealing with a juvenile on the side of the road. and he went to hit the state trooper in the head with his laptop and got arrested. That's got to be when this was impounded. That was over a year ago. So his laptop's been sitting there in impound for over a year, and he expects them to have, a, you know, familiar knowledge with the, everything that went on that day. Yeah, it's ridiculous. He finally gets his laptop back. It's like a 1986 fucking Dell or something. I don't know what it is. It's an old piece of junk. But yeah, Lucky, yeah, Lucky does his audits on the laptop because he's a very proud man. Anyway, <laughs> that's the video. He's got it back finally. Yay. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Love y'all. Bye.